actions that took place are what will go down in the history books. Nine people took in someone that did not look like them or act like them. And with true love and true faith and true acceptance, they sat and prayed with him for an hour. That love and faith was so strong that it brought grace to their families. It showed them how to forgive. So then we saw the action of forgiveness. We saw the family show the world what true forgiveness and grace looked like. That forgiveness and grace set off another action, an action of compassion by people all across South Carolina and all across this country. They stopped looking at each other's differences. They started looking at each other's similarities because we were all experiencing the same pain. So then you take that compassion and that compassion, compassion motivated action. That compassion motivated people wanting to do something about it. So the action was taken by the General Assembly. And what we saw in that swift action by both the House and Senate was we saw members start to see what it was like to be in each other's shoes, start to see what it felt like. We heard about the true honor of heritage and tradition. We heard about the true pain that many had felt. And we took the time to understand it. I saw passions get high. I saw passions get low. But I saw commitment never ending. And so what we saw was another action. And that action is that the Confederate flag is coming off the grounds of the South Carolina State House. <laughs> surrounded by members of the Emanuel Nine family. I want to thank them for taking the time to come. I'm also surrounded by former governors who put their name on a letter, put their support together to say, yes, while we have been a part of South Carolina's past, we want to see this part of South Carolina's future go in the right direction. So I thank everybody that is with me today.
that, I am proud to say that the bill has been signed. I do want to also acknowledge these nine pins are going to each of the nine families of the Emanuel Nine. May we never forget the actions that those people took to get us to this point today. And then I've got um, a couple of other pins. Many of people have talked about the courage um, that took place by so many across the state. But one person started this almost two decades ago, and that was Governor David Beasley. And the last time I saw him, I said, you started it. And he said, well, I need you to finish it. Right. Now